Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great, and welcome to your daily update on the, on Pepe. Um, it, it's a daily update, all right? So uh, I, I just wanted to make it either way. But this uh, time around, there's actually also something to talk about, all right? Uh, because we got some strong momentum overnight, all right? It was um, well yesterday. We were actually quite. Uh, it was quite a lot of bearish uh, pressure in, across the markets. Um, and uh, and Pepe also suffered because of that, but um, so that's why yesterday we talked quite a lot about the potential of getting a bearish breakout. All right. Now, personally, I don't think I said that. I think it w that I thought it was most likely uh, to get that breakout, but I did talk a quite quite often about it because I did feel like there was a, a quite a high likelihood that we would get that bearish breakout. But in the end, the um, the consolidation held. All right, which I believe. Um, but correct me if I'm wrong, was still the consensus in the video yesterday. So the consolidation I'm talking about for, for Pepe is this consolidation between 8,000 slash 7,900 and uh, at the top 9,500. So this is the level that Pepe has been kind of moving uh, within for the last four days. So it's, it's not that long. This is the one hour time frame. This is not that, not, this is not that much time that we've been consolidating here. But I would say that it's a very significant consolidation because it's being respected. And what you see as well in general um, is that the, the ADX at least was quite low. Now we're seeing an increase again right now. We also see that Bitcoin is still very strong. We see that meme coins are one or at least this morning, meme coins were one of the strongest performers in the markets. So that's interesting, all right, because Pepe is also near the top of the range. So that's what I wanted to talk about. Can we actually get that bullish breakout? Now, if you remember my, my last couple of videos from, from Pepe, what I always said is that a bearish breakout is most likely. Um, well, that's not what I always said, but I, what I did say is that what you could see for Pepe is that there's a divergence in the price, which is still moving sideways, consolidating and the open interest, which was still very much dropping down. All right, what you could see, I mean, here, here's the divergence, right? I mean, you can see that the price is, is moving sideways here and the divergence is moving down. Um, so that is usually, I would say, that's bearish. It could also turn into something good and it's uh, in, in the end, it's quite 50-50, uh, but it's an interesting observation. So what we saw today is we actually got that momentum up again. and. I'm not sure if this momentum is enough to really get a bullish breakout. But what I do know for certain is that if this open interest goes up a little bit more, there's a very high chance of breaking out. All right. So because the market structure right now and because that that structure has not been broken yet, um, which is a consolidation, I still have to tell you that I think it's most likely that we'll stay in that consolidation. Um, but I want you to be prepared for both breakouts. And at this moment, a bullish breakout is much, much more likely. Um, so be prepared for that, all right? It's, it's always best to assume that if we're in, in an uptrend or in a downtrend or a consolidation, it's best to assume that that's going to continue. But you need to be, you need to be, you need to be alert for that breakout, because then you can actually take that opportunity. And right now, like I said, I'm, I'm not sure if you have the capabilities to follow this, but if the open interest actually breaks above this this level at like $500 million, um, I, I would say it's, it's very likely then that we will get that breakout above 9,500 and start to rally up to 10,000 and to ultimately 11,000. Um, so like I said, because of the technical situation and because of the volatility in the markets, I will tell you that I think it's most likely this market structure will continue, but be prepared and keep an eye on that bullish breakout, right? That's the best way to go about it at this moment, I would say. Um, but those are my thoughts. That's what I think you need to know for now. If you do have any questions, of course, let me know down in the comments. Uh, but for now, have a great day. Take care and bye.